I feel empty. Oh wait, is that Proteo Prime? It releases on May 1. <laughs> Restraining order? What do you mean restraining order? With Protea Prime releasing on May 1, Protea Prime ain't safe. I was thinking of making a video about relics and the best way to get them. So here's a quick and dirty nice. guide on farming relics. For those of you who don't know, relics are one of the two ways we have as players to get prime weapons in the game. Prime weapons are essentially just like normal weapons but with better stats and most importantly, better drip. There are four classifications of relics, Lith relics, Meso relics, Neo relics, and Axia relics. Drink every time I said the relics in this video, I f huh? dare you. Also, like it, subscribe to you. Weird, buddy. You're weird. Each relic, no matter what the class, has six different rewards in it. Three common rewards, two uncommon rewards, and one rare reward. Wow. Another thing about relics is that you can level them up in four different increments, with each level increasing your chance of getting wow. better rewards. Wow. Wow. For this video, I'm gonna assume that you know your star chart and just show you the best ways to get each class of relic. There are a lot of ways to get less relics. The best way for me is running the capture mission Hepit in the void. Using a fast warframe like Vault Titania or my boy Gross, this node has a 100% chance of giving you a lit relic or an Aya which is a resource that can be exchanged into more relics. With this method, you could get more than 50 to 60 relics an hour. Just make sure to take breaks since it gets kinda boring running the same mission for too long. Also, don't forget to use solo mode when doing these runs. It's faster that way, trust me. Miso relics, like Lith relics, is also obtained in a lot of ways. Some prefer doing it in a specific rotation in disruption missions, but for me, I recommend doing the capture mission, Oko, in the void, using the same method as the Leth Relics. The one downside to this method is that the mission has a 33% chance of either dropping a Meso Relic, a Neo Relic, or an Aya. Well, this can only be classified a downside if you're trying to farm a specific Meso Relic. But if your main goal is to just get as many relics as fast as possible, then this method is still the fast way to do it. Axie relics are the last class of relics, and currently the best way to get them is running the disruption node Apollo on the Earth Moon Lua. I'm sure you're familiar with the game mode by now. Kill enemies, get keys, put keys in the keyhole, kill big boy demolists, so on and so forth. For this mission, the loadout you bring doesn't really matter as long as it can kill tanky enemies, that should be enough. Although if you're asking for a recommendation, any of the incarnate weapons are great enough weapons to kill the demolists. Before you click away, here are some ways to get extra relics that most new players don't know about. Syndicates. Relic packs from syndicates are a good way to get extra relics. I myself am planning to stockpile reputation so that when Protea Prime releases, I could cash out 6 relic packs per syndicate at max rate. Protea Prime ain't safe. Fashion Shop This one might be a bit harder for new players, but if you've unlocked Steel Path, you can also exchange 15 Steel Essence for a relic pack up to 25 times giving you 75 relics wow. on day one of Protea Prime. She ain't safe. I honestly don't recommend this one if you don't have a huge stockpile of Steel Essence though, since it could be used for much more important things down the line. Anyways, that's all you need to know about relics. 
hopefully you enjoyed the video i want to thank you all for supporting the last video it really means a lot to me also don't forget to catch me live here on youtube on may 1 while we farm for protea prime see you in the next video guys peace out wait lex prime has an encounter